Let's simplify this question. We'll first spread the terms under the cubic root. So our first term will be cubic root of 16 can be written as 8 times 2 times b square minus, let's leave this part the same now, cubic root of 24 b square. Now let's separate the cubic root between all those terms. So that's cubic root of 8 times cubic root of 2 times b square. Just combine those two minus cubic root of 24 b square will be same for now. Now cubic root of 8, 8 can be written as 2 power 3 times cubic root of 2 b square will remain same minus cubic root of 24 can be written as 12 times 2 b square. Now we have 2 times cubic root of 2 b square minus We'll separate the cubic root here, so that's cubic root of 12 times cubic root of 2b square. These both terms, we have the one common thing, that's cubic root of 2b square. We'll take this out, so that's cubic root of 2b square. And inside the bracket, we have 2 minus cubic root of 12. That's our final answer.